Okay, so, where do we start? First of all, if you're here to watch the Ravenous Pig review, sorry, Polite Pig, same people though, uh, if you're here to watch the Polite Pig review at Disney Springs, uh, I will put up on the screen right now the, the point in which the video... It's been a long night for me, I'm recording this in the early hours of the morning. What I meant to say was the point of the video where that starts, so feel free to jump to that. Um, if you're here because you're a subscriber and you watch every week, this message is for you guys. Um, how do I say it? So, it has come to light that um, doing the vlogs on a weekly schedule is uh, its a little bit too much for me right now. Um, and that's kind of hard to say because in the time we've been doing this, which is well over a year now, I believe, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I've only ever took off uh, one week. <laughs> I think that's all we've missed. Um, so, so let me just stop this blind from rattling. No, okay. Um, but no, I've only took off one week and that's... Um, it's been hard for me to come to this point and make this decision, but I know I mentioned to this to you guys a couple of months ago that things might change because of changes in my job. Um, well, that has happened right now. I need to give more time to what I am doing. Uh, part of what I do involves going back to school for a while, um, and if anyone follows me on Twitter, you've seen that math class hasn't been going that well for me. So, um, yeah, if, if, if you're a math teacher, tutor, or uh, understand uh, algebra in any way and want to explain it to me like I'm five years old, feel free to send me a message on Twitter because I, I will probably sit down with you and we'll go over a few things. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, I've gone off on a tangent. The point of this is the videos will not be weekly on a Thursday anymore. Now that's not to say that I'm not going to stop making content. Um, I will do that and eventually the videos will go back to normal, 100%. Um, but right now, right at this very moment in time, I can't do it. And if I'm being completely honest, I think that's shown as well. Um, the last video I uploaded, I went and <laughs> recorded that food and wine video uh, after about four hours of sleep. Um, because I'm burning the candle at both ends, I'm trying to do everything and unfortunately I can't and I believe it's showing. When I edited it back, I just didn't like the way I was. I was very tired uh, and I noticed a couple of other people noticed it as well. So, you know, I want you to see the best stuff that we can produce. Um, not necessarily the best stuff we can produce, if I'm being honest, the vlogs are, you know, what they are. But I want you to see us at our best, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, and you don't deserve that, so I will still put videos out there, they might be a bit shorter and they're not going to be on a weekly schedule anymore. Um, they will just be as I have the time to make them. I'm still, you know, planning on doing quite a few uh, pieces of content every month, including Halloween Horror Nights, which we went to the other night, uh, and it was amazing. We've been quite a few times, actually. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the time that we can go with uh, JL and hopefully, possibly, maybe Tom, we'll see, uh, and we can do a video for you then of everything that Halloween Horror Nights has to offer this year, which, spoiler alert, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> We're really enjoying the event. So, uh, anyway, I will stop rambling at this point. Um, yeah, thank you for bearing with me for the last year and however many months it's been. It's been fun so far, and it will be fun again in the future, and it will be in between, but it won't be fun on a weekly basis because I have to prioritise some other things first. So I hope you're okay with that. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's everything. So enjoy the Polite Pig review that we shot a while ago, which does have Tom and JL in it. It's actually a piece of footage that uh, we just never had the time to use. Um, yeah, and it it, it, <laughs> it didn't end up being uh, able to add to any of the other vlogs, so, but it's, you know, it's, come, it's, it's useful now because it gives you something to watch this week because I've not been able to put anything together. And of course, um, a huge thank you to Tom who uh, was actually the one that edited this. He put this together at the last minute, actually, so you guys actually had something to, you know, see this week. So thank you so much, Tom. Um, as always, whenever you edit, it's... It's always wonderful, um, and I can only express my gratitude. So, yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm very tired, and I've just come home from my night shift, uh, and I'm going to go to bed uh, as soon as I've edited this and uploaded it to YouTube. So I will see you guys when I see you next. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh, look at this. I'm trying not to. Huh? It's good. It's, it's contagious. Spence is making me feel it. <laughs> Just caught her at the wrong moment there. Right, anyway, Tom, where are we? We are at the Polite Pig. Uh, located at? Disney Springs. Disney Springs. I'm excited. I've never been before. It's the first for me, but you have, right? I was here for the grand opening for Ooh. media. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. Oh, very nice. Fancy. This Orlando life doesn't get invited anywhere, so I don't know where she got that invitation from. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, no, I can't wait to get in there. I love barbecue food. I go to Four Rivers. <laughs> I go to Four Rivers, Four Rivers all the time. <laughs> I went Four Rivers. <laughs> there you go. You're a good friend. Is my helping hand? Look at that. Right, let's jump inside. Let's get some meat. And well, let's just see how the evening goes, all right? Five <laughs> minutes. We just want five minutes. See, oh, see that set me up for a joke five as well. Five minutes of appropriateness. Well, you are. Tom keeps world. his family friendly. <laughs> Yay! And a jalapeno cornbread. I'm gonna try it. Yum. 
and I went for the. I also went for the USDA Prime uh, brisket, but mine looks different to yours. See, every human is different. I asked what I asked for, that's what I got. So just kind of cut maybe just a different cut. Uh, but yeah, I got the tater top fries. No, not fries. They're like cheddar tater tots. Sweet potato, sweet potato cheddar tater tot, a biscuit, and coleslaw. Right. See, I specifically ordered the brisket because you, you told me you were going to get something else. I got the. I, I thought I was going to go for the this, the USDA prime brisket sandwich. Yeah. And then she said off of the smoker, and I said yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now we've ended up with the same thing, but it looks different. So. And you got a taste. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, right. Anyway, we're going to dig in. Um, yeah, because I'm hungry. Um, Spence is already halfway through everything. It's really yummy. So, JL said on the way in, oh yeah, the sides are really good. And I was like, yeah, you know, probably. It's a nice place, smells good, you know. Not, not you know, anything too much into it. Stealing my side. I have just tasted some of this macaroni. And I think it was delivered from the gods. A blessing, a blessing from the Lord. God be praised. And I am an atheist, so that says a lot. <laughs> that says a lot. JL, please try that macaroni. You said you try, you eat macaroni. I want somebody else to experience what I just did. It's good. It's so good. Tom, please, please. <laughs> It's a joint account it comes out of. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to take a teeny amount to be polite. <laughs> really good, right? Not just me. My sides are really good as well. And the coleslaw, which is one of those things that sometimes I don't even eat. Yeah. I don't mind coleslaw. I'm a rat. I'm not a huge fan of it. I see you enjoyed it. Yeah, I would actually <laughs> order that. That's, man, that's a big claim. Yeah, cool. Mine's awesome as well. These are pretty cool. Obviously, Tom, big this up. Tastes amazing. My actual brisket, though, is spot on. It really is, so. All right, we're at the, I want to say halfway point, but we're, we're, we're past that. Um, there's a few bites left. Tom is now on his second <laughs> container of coleslaw. It's well, yeah. Um, I've tried it now and I think I know, I get what you're saying. It tastes awesome, it tastes really nice. It's got like a crisp flavor. It's fruity almost, like a bit of pineapple in there maybe. Yes, there's something in it. Well, it's, it's not just that, I think I've cracked it. Not completely, but I think I know why it works so well. So try it and let me tell you as you do it. I want to see if, I can, if, I've, if I've cracked it. Now this is going to sound weird. Can you taste stuffing? Yeah, not just me, right? Can you taste it? Like it almost, it could be. There's something that's in stuffing that's in there that works really well. I like this. There's a lot of celery in it. I think that's oh, that could be the stuffing thing, yeah, because yeah. it's... <laughs> it's really good. It's quite a subtle flavor. It's not one of these things where you have a mouthful and you're immediately like, oh my God, it's amazing. But I suddenly realized that you can take a look at your face. <laughs> you are a dirty boy. Family friendly vlog. <laughs> Tell me all about your cheesy sausage, boo. They're really yummy. Um, it's like a... We've been on a sausage kick lately, because once a week we do bangers and mash. Yeah, it's like for about 27 years. Uh, <laughs> but we do like bangers and mash at home, like once a week. So the sausage we has like cheddar cheese in it, and then it's a little bit of bourbon sauce on top. So it has like this little kick to it. I should explain that bangers and mash is an English slang term for um, relations. <laughs> Not jail, don't get sucked in. It's and that by the way is a British slang to no, I'm good with it's food, it's mashed potatoes and sausage with gravy, which I'm sure everyone knew, but I should clarify that mashed potatoes and sausage. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere, really cool. Time for the battle of the cob salads. Let's get ready to rumble! Oh yeah! Spencer's imaginary battle of the cob salads he made up in his head. <laughs> Please tell us. <laughs> are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs> By the people, it's 
Love. But it's not here. So, Brown Derby still wins. That was, that was brutal. That was hard to It was. So. <laughs> Thank praise. Wow. I mean, that was like watching Russia lose the World Series. <laughs> the World Series? I was going to say, the World Series? What? That's baseball. Yeah, nobody plays baseball apart from the Japanese and the Americans. We. <laughs> We don't play made-up sports, we play the same sports everybody else plays. <laughs> you lie me <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Oliver's <laughs> coming home. What were you telling me, Spencer, about the portion sizes and your belly rumbles? Okay, so I'm like a chunker, so I feel like I'm a little bit out there when I say this kind of stuff. When I think of barbecue, I think of when I finish eating, I want to feel like Ooh, that was a lot of food. But here I'm kind of like still kind of hungry. And what? I don't like that. What? You were saying earlier, like this is about like a low calorie meal. And yeah. Now, so I just ate all this. I'm still kind of hungry. So now my logical step will be, oh, I'm going to get a dessert somewhere now too. So now you're eating all this plus another thing. Whereas if I ate like a barbecue from a normal place that I was expecting, I would just eat this and be like, done. I'm done for like the whole night. And JL then laid the smack down on Spencer. He said, stop being so fat. <laughs> and said... I think that that's a good thing. I don't like leaving feeling so full that I'm sick. So, I'm actually quite content. I'm, I'm satisfied, but I don't feel ill. So to me, that's a plus. However... I think you're making a good point, but I don't think anything is full of a <laughs> I kind of agree with both because I think I think it's quite difficult to eat around Disney and have normal meal sizes so you can eat regularly out here and you know, not get super, super bloated. But at the same time, I kind of feel like uh, you know I'm the same. I love barbecue and I actually was expecting this to be more food. It's very good. I don't. It's not like I don't feel ripped off or anything. Um, yeah. But yeah, possibly they could have been. Disney portions can be really big. Yeah. So this is kind of almost like a little bit like disproportionate to the other portions you might get while you're on vacation. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I agree with uh, just to reiterate Tom's point. Let's let's all be honest for a second. You know, let's have a let's have a heart to heart. Not everyone, but I would say about 95 percent of people do that thing in a restaurant where when they put your food down, you look at your portion size and you either go. Ooh! Or, oh, <laughs> because it's not what you want. And when it put down, although it smelled great and it tasted great, oh, I feel so fat. I wanted more, <laughs> so. I can't stop eating. I don't want to call it a light option because it's far from it. It is not a light option, but it's. There's probably a lot of people that watch this and this would give them that really full feeling. And I look at JL in a. smaller frame. Tom's got to feed all these muscles, so he needs more fruit. <laughs> and Spencer and I have got sacks of mashed potato to... We have happy marriage week. This is interpretive dance. Oh, 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 look at this. I'm trying not to. Huh? It's good. It's, it's contagious. Spencer's making me feel it. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Let it go. I don't know what they're putting in the food. Mm? How did everyone enjoy the meals? Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that's my Elsa turn. That's uh, Jail telling us that she wants to go first with how she enjoyed her food. How do you enjoy your food, Jail? It was alright. Flavor, just flavor. We've we've already covered portions and disappointments. Yeah, I mean, so the sides are really good. I am a fan yes. of the sides here. We didn't have it 
tonight, but the watermelon salad is one of my favorites. That macaroni and cheese is just off the charts good. Baked beans are alright. They also have Brussels sprouts. They're really good. Um, anyway, my cob salad was fine. I enjoyed it. I'm still, I'm not feeling sick. I'm ready for more fun. Fun Betty cake. That's a review. Well, I don't feel sick. <laughs> so she also started by singing and dancing, and then opened with it was alright. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Bad. Also, they have a thing where you can get three of the sides, so you can just get three sides. Oh, just by themselves. Yeah. Oh, that is that's expensive for that. Vegetarians can eat here because you don't have to get any of the meat. Vegetarian, love meat, and I stopped on. And I um, <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Tom. I said nothing. You're not putting that on one on me. <laughs> the polite pig. Just throwing Tom under the bus. This is where the magic happened. Yes. No. It was really tasty. It was very good. Um, I yummy. just wish there was a little bit more of it. Margarita was awesome. The brisket, I couldn't fault it, and the sides were awesome too. I'm just a fatty and wanted to make my bosoms more plump. Tom. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you on the bosoms thing, but uh, <laughs> I thought the food was very good. I think there could have been more of it. Yeah. The brisket was amazing. I was very impressed with the coleslaw. Actually, the cornbread was really good as well. As Jenny said, the beans were fine. They were all right. And, um, <laughs> that's just cruel the way you said that. <laughs> they were like good. They were it. Keeping it real. First thing first on the real list. How about you, Spencer? It was good. I loved it. I wish it was a little bit more portion size, but other than that, I was satisfied. Carly Rae Jepsen! Oh, and we're off on a tangent. So, I um, love Carly Rae Jepsen. With that being said, and um, I don't know how to transition into, <laughs> into finishing the video. Just put in the Call Me Maybe music video. No. Four stars out of five and a half would come again. There you go. Cool. Right. See you soon. Spencer and Jenny closer to the music. It's a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> and this is, look at this. This is my life now. I'm dancing to Carly Rae Jepsen. In my I know, life. it's awful. I couldn't think of anything worse. You went to two Carly Rae Jepsen concerts with me. Not by choice. That was the best time ever. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from us in the future, please click the thumbs up. Commenting also helps the video. So even if it's just a, you guys are weird, we'll still be grateful. Please click subscribe to follow the channel. And if you'd like to be notified of all new videos, you'll need to click on the little bell. Otherwise, you'll only be notified of a few and you'll probably be missing the best ones. If you want to follow any of us on social media, you can find links to do so underneath any of the videos that we appear in. And finally, if you really want to go the extra mile, you can support us through Patreon. We are hugely grateful to anyone who chooses to do so, but please know that the vast majority of our content will remain free to view for as long as we're doing this. And we are genuinely grateful for support in all forms. So please continue to like, comment, and share. And a huge heartfelt thank you from all of us. Smith! No? Come on! Okay, so how are we feeling? Tight. Wet. <laughs> if you say something dirty too, I'm cutting this right now. What was your pirate name again? What was JL's pirate name? Oh, Admiral Shorty. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> That was the most appropriate one that I could say. <laughs> when are we getting the speedo reveal, Oliver? You're teasing us still. Oliver and I are allowed to use that elevator. Do not use elevator to transport fruit.
He just can get out. <laughs> I can really relate to this. I feel like we've got like the same. <laughs> How very day. <laughs> oh. I don't know, something different. Yeah, the dip. That was the best bit. I enjoyed the dip. <laughs> no. That was that really would be funny. So, no, that would be mean. <laughs> but you would have been so mad at me. I would have been furious. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't paying attention when we were in the shower and I was about to pop oh, the button. Oh, you should have done it. You're better that needed to have I happened. Have. I would have done it. It's like a sea of people pushing me back up against the yeah. It was really. It was. It was harder than coming into the world. You know, being. It's <laughs> I've got vivid memories of my birth, and I agree. I love it. This is my favorite thing so far. Including me. Yeah. Harsh. It's fair. It's harsh. That's like Sisyphus. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Hundred percent. Dropping classical references on your stairs. Jenny, would you like to explain to us about your touchies? What are touchies, JL? Touchies are the places on your body that when people touch them, high pressure or anything, you go like that. Boys and girls, first of all, before anyone touches anyone's touchies, a man and a woman have to love each other very much. Oh my god. Okay. Why does it have to be a man and a woman? Why can't it be a man and a man or a woman and a woman? We're modern blocks. Because I'm speaking in a patronizing way from the 1950s. So it has to be like that. A man and a woman. See, a lot of you think Jenny's nice, but sometimes she just mercilessly attacks us for no reason. Like, like look at this, she's about to go. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing that, Jenny. Is that one of the I think you just found a touchy. In this it's like Harry Potter and finding out what the Horcruxes are. We've just found touchy number one. <laughs> Jenny, did you just commit another hate crime? Can you confirm? Is it worse? Yes. It's not worse than Econ. <laughs> yes, it is. This is a big claim, Spencer. <laughs> is it true that you've just done something worse than you did at Epcot? Is that true? No, it's not it quite that bad. <laughs> well, that's what you said after Epcot. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah what's it? You under there. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Made me look sexy. Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah.